You're watching a Nova Science Now video podcast. Here's producer Joe McMaster. When we were researching ideas for new segments, we came across something that was really just kind of irresistible to us, and that is that NASA was sponsoring a competition to see if someone could build a working prototype of a space elevator, which is sort of a machine that would crawl up an enormously long and strong cable into outer space. Given that our host, Neil deGrasse Tyson, is an astrophysicist, and that it's just such an interesting and appealing idea, we just had to go for it. Most of the teams in NASA's competition thought a real space elevator wouldn't be built for decades. But we also came across a company near Seattle that actually claimed they could build one in the near future. So here's what Neil and I discovered when we visited them. So what is this contraption? This is a lifter robot. It is a prototype of technology to climb a space elevator ribbon. To where? To space. <laughs> How far has this climbed so far? This has climbed 1,500 feet. That is not space. That is not, but it's the first baby step to get there. So how far away are we from realizing this dream? We think that there's going to be some version of this system within the next 15 years. It's not going to be... Wait, wait, a version to 22,000 miles. There will be think... something when? within the next 15 years. Really? Yeah, yeah. What are these? Batteries. Those are batteries. So suppose you're halfway into space and the batteries die. Well, that's a bad situation right, to be in. So you what do you do? You won't have batteries in the first place. You know, for climbing 150 feet, battery is Up fine. Up the side of a building. Right. Climbing to space, it's not economical to carry your batteries with you. Particularly so, just a Velcro to the side. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so can you show me how it works? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So, so let's do it. Yourself. All right. Okay. Power to the engine. Full speed ahead. If someone is going to be on an elevator and they have to travel 22,000 miles, the prerequisite should be that they don't get old and die before <laughs> they get to the platform. So yeah, how, how long do you foresee this trip taking? It'll be about a week. A week? A week, right. So you're going to be... So the trip the... itself is a vacation. Oh, absolutely. Yes. So here it comes. Looking healthy. Everything. Can I get the first one? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks a lot. Just a few decades ago, putting men on the moon sounded just as outrageous as space elevators sound today. When it comes to the space elevator, we should probably never say never, but I'm still a bit skeptical. You can learn more about these elevators to space on our website at pbs.org nova slash science now.